Melbourne is so well known for its laneways just like this one they are all over the city and there is gems to be found in laneways and today we're going to be eating some incredible food tucked away up laneways. I'm Thomas. I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Kicking off at one of our favourite spots to grab a coffee in Melbourne, Patricia. These guys do an epic brew. It's always teeming with people. Look at the crowds. The coffee is top notch. Hi, how are you going? Good. Um, can I grab two magics, please? You know, it's a popular morning spot when the line is like that for a coffee. This is such a cute place. The coffee is great, like Sheena said, but the place as well is awesome. The staff are always super friendly. It is just a fantastic place to start off your day. And this is what today's going to be like. Dining at places like this. Super popular, tucked away, neat places. Places you just got to visit. You got to try. You got to have. And this is good. I can't wait for coffee. Thank you. Thanks so much. Perfect. Thank you. This is so Melbourne. Sitting in a laneway, on the curb, drinking a coffee, an excellent coffee. I ordered a Magic, which is a three-quarter flat white. <sighs> Honestly, it doesn't get much better than that. Absolutely delicious. Incredible team. Sadie's enjoying her fluffy. This is a great way to start the day. How is it? <laughs> there are some very famous laneways this is one of them hardware lane we've filmed content in those laneways before you can see that on the channel as well like we said today is more about probably less known laneways in melbourne but with fantastic food in them this video contains some of our old favorites but also new spots and our next place is a new spot. Check out this laneway. It is so pokey. Really easy to miss if you're on a mission. You just, like, it looks like there is nothing down here. But the last time we walked past, there was a queue that took up basically the whole laneway. And a line is always a good sign. So we're heading to Tories for cake and matcha. There's a lovely feeling in here. It's like you've just walked into someone's lounge room, like a secret little doorway into someone's lounge. This is couches and coffee tables and stuff to sit at and very soft music. Very nice. I don't know how they're gonna make a decision. There is a lineup of beautiful cakes, more treats on the counter, and then just the cafe looks gorgeous. It's kind of vintage, quirky, very chilled out space. Thanks, how are you? Good, yeah, thank you. Good. Can I please grab two hot hojicha? Two hot hojicha. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. It's yeah. winter here in Melbourne. We ordered two steaming cups of hojicha, which is roasted green tea. Couldn't resist this garlic bread, which is stuffed full of cream cheese, and then had to obviously go for a sweet because that's what they're known for, the ube basque cheesecake. Ube is purple yam prevalent in Filipino cuisine. Look at that. This all smells really good between the roasted green tea, which is a beautiful scent, and Sheena just ripping open the cream cheese garlic bread, which was just a boom of, of garlicky goodness. Everything, oh, yum. That is incredible, this. It's got a really earthy, uh, rich flavor, the roasted green tea, hojicha, uh, milky, yum. Love a bit of garlic bread and stuffed with cream cheese. How can it go wrong? Mm. It's a very sweet bread, soft, fluffy, and the cream cheese itself is quite sweet. And you got that hit of buttery garlicness. Got Gar buttery garlicness, is that even thing? You know what I mean. It's really good. This looks like the perfect forkful. I am a massive Ube fan. Ube is purple yam, really common in Filipino cuisine and you find it in a lot of desserts. Mmm, ultra silky, ultra creamy, not overly sweet. That's utterly delicious. I'm loving this spot and it's really neat getting a window into the kitchen as well. The team is hard at work. There's quite a, a few of them in there baking away and you can see why they're churning out the sweets and the line 
has been growing as we've um, sat in here. You can see why. That was a really neat experience. Really different setup in there with the lounge room style dining. Uh, great food and what a perfect laneway dining experience. Yeah. Definitely in the laneways here, just surrounded by bricks, these really old buildings. Super neat. Time for some Thai food now. This one's pretty neat. It's tucked up a laneway, but also in a basement. So again, feels pretty undercover actually. If you don't notice the sign, you definitely wouldn't know it was there. I love this place for Thai. It's sort of our go-to when we're in Melbourne CBD. They do just great street food classics. This place is called Dudi Pai Dang, and it is always a surprise when you come in here because it's very big. You, you're coming from a little laneway, down a little flight of stairs, but then it just opens up into this pretty massive restaurant, a lot of tables. We've ordered up a little mini feast and some uh, drinks. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> One particularly fun thing about Duty Pai Dang is that the food gets delivered by a robot. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. We ordered up a few of our favourites, just like comfort food. We've got Pad Kra Pa, which is a holy basil stir fry. We got it with chicken mince, a red curry, which is really super creamy and spicy here, and a Khao Ka Mu, which is a braised pork leg with rice, half a boiled egg, bit of soup. Yeah, let's get in. The Pad Kra Pa is a really popular workers lunch, we eat it a lot. The curries are just rich and creamy. I've loaded up my plate with everything. Mmm, mmm, thank you. That red chicken curry, packed with beans, slices of chicken, bamboo shoots, baby eggplant, is creamy and it packs a punch. It's quite spicy. It's really good. I've also got some of this khao ka mu on my plate. This is a dish that we eat often in Chiang Mai, in the north of Thailand. It's a braised pork leg dish, and it comes with pickled mustard greens. There's also some gai lan on there, Chinese broccoli. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is utterly delicious. The pork leg just melts in your mouth. It's really aromatic with things like soy, star anise, ginger. It's beautiful. And it's a really decent portion. So all three of these meals are under 20 bucks. So you're getting a really good feed for a great price. Pad Kra Pao for me, which is the Thai name. On the menu, I think it's holy basil stir fry. This dish is like Sheena said, a, a real worker's dish. When you're in Bangkok walking the streets around lunchtime, you'll hear the clang of the woks, and it's often this dish being produced because it's quick, it's easy, and it is utterly delicious. And they do a great version here. And it is not easy to find a great version. Even in Thailand, some just stand out. And when you're traveling, it's one that you're, you're always hunting for that perfect one. And this is a very good one. Mm. It's vibrant, it's full of spice, it's full of sweetness, it's full of saltiness, it's like a, the perfect Thai dish, so balanced in, in all those different flavours. Oh, this is a delicious spread and very cool laneway dining. Really, like it's a go-to for us whenever we're in Melbourne, it's delicious. Sometimes the banh mi cravings just strike and it's kind of hard to find a good solid banh mi option in Melbourne CBD but it just so happens, we found one the other day, Heart Baker banh mi and it is so cute, it's up this tiny little laneway. It's a little takeaway only window tucked up this laneway, really cute spot. Perfect, thank you, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Really sweet team. We actually opted for the combo, Vietnamese coffee and a 
crispy pork bun mi. This place does bun mi that aren't entirely traditional. Things like salmon curry, caramelized tofu, definitely not bun mi that you'd find in Vietnam. This one is probably slightly more leaning towards traditional, but it's still not entirely traditional. This is a crispy pork belly one covered in fried shallots, but it's still got all those traditional elements like pickled carrot, daikon, coriander, there's some pate in there, chili, and then it's drenched in hoisin sauce, and it's in an almost tiger style roll. Very fluffy, crispy on the outside, very fluffy. Whoa. Can you hear the crunch? Mmm. The crunch on the pork is wildly good. There's such a good crack on that. And it's just packed with flavor. Freshness from the pickled vegetables. The meat is really nice, good meat to fat ratio. Poison sauce gives a sweet hit. It's a great sandwich. Man, cool little anyway, right? Like, it's lunchtime here in Melbourne. So you've got all the workers coming out, grabbing a sandwich. I think a good way to end a laneway's video. Delicious. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Drop a comment down below. Tell us what you thought. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.